Well, joining me now is Rebecca Clark. She is a technology reporter with our media partners at The Hill. Rebecca, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Hey, let's talk about this vote, Rebecca. What does it mean for TikTok users right now? So users of TikTok right now don't expect to see any difference on the platform. What's happened so far is that the House advanced a bill that could eventually lead to a ban on TikTok. The bill would call for ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, to divest TikTok within a roughly five-month window. If TikTok isn't divested, then it could be banned on U.S. app stores and on web hosting services. But that bill still needs to advance in the Senate and get signed by President Biden. And even if it does, experts said it may get support as we've seen other attempts to ban TikTok face. Rebecca, what are you hearing from users and what are you hearing from the parent company by dance? Right. So TikTok has pushed back really strongly on this legislation. They've called it an outright ban to the bill has said not to give that to call members of Congress to, to try and block this from going forward anymore. We've also seen users and creators on TikTok come to the Capitol and, and try and speak to lawmakers about why they think that the app should continue to exist in the U.S. as they've come to build small businesses on it and entertain users. And, and again, uh, you know, talk about what you've heard uh, from users uh, and, uh, again, the parent company, ByteDance. Yeah, you know, I think ByteDance and, and TikTok have really pushed back on the allegations that having a parent company based in China poses these national security threats, which is really what the push for the bill has been centered around in terms of what lawmakers have said they've heard in classified briefings about risks that they see TikTok pose, especially as we head into the election. But what users are saying is that they want to continue to be able to use TikTok. They've use it to reach audiences, to build small businesses, and to really build their brands. The vote, Rebecca, the vote seemed to have a majority of lawmakers in favor. Do we see the Senate taking up on a vote? Yeah, so, you know, immediately after we saw the, bra the, the broad bipartisan support in the House and as the House advanced this bill, the top member of the Senate Intelligence Committee said that they were going to push this vote, this bill for a vote in the Senate. Um, I think what we can expect to see is that supporters of this legislation will be pushing for a quick vote in the Senate, as we saw happen in the House. But in addition to the bipartisan support we saw in the House, there was also opposition on both sides of the aisle. I think that's something we can expect to see emerge more in the Senate, where it still needs 60 votes in order for it to pass. So that might be, you know, more of a roadblock for them there. All right, Rebecca, thank you very much for joining us on Capitol Review.